knock and ready to rock. Now we're at the stage where we can finally tie on our knock and loop configuration. I really like to use tied knocks and loops because they're lighter weight, so you're gonna be able to gain speed, and they're also a little bit more forgiving, and they're a lot easier for wear and tear on your release aid. The four things that you're gonna need for this are gonna be some serving thread, and for tying knocks and loops and also tying your peep, you're gonna to need to get some BCY 3D serving thread. You're going to need to get some uh, BCY loop material. This is the poly braid loop material. Uh, a pair of D-loop pliers are very, very useful for stretching this loop. And then also you're going to need a lighter to burn this. This is really an easy step. And what I do is I'll go ahead and put my arrow right at 90 degrees on the string and I'll lightly secure it in a bow press just so that I can easily tie these on. This is really an easy process. And again, if you have this at 90 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and tie on our knock points first. We're gonna use a simple technique called over and under knots. And I'm gonna show you close up just exactly how you do this. It's going to be important that you don't move that arrow as we do this because again, once we tie these knocks, we want to make sure that that arrow is going to be at 90 degrees. And we're going to start first by tying this top knock. Okay, we're going to tie what's called over and under knot. So you're going to take about a one foot piece of this 3D material and you're going to actually loop it through two times just like this. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to tie one time right against the very top edge of this knock. Again, don't move the arrow because you want your arrow at 90 degrees. You're gonna tighten it down, fairly secure, and then this second time we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do it under, which is why we call this an over and under knot. We're gonna tie it twice. This time we're gonna pull and we're gonna start stacking these underneath that first one over this one under that one over this one and we're actually going to stop stack these knocking points and we're going to put them right up against the top edge of that arrow just like this we're going to do this three times on each side Make sure you securely tighten it. Tighten it down firmly. This is our last time underneath. So for this very last one, I'm gonna slide this out of the way. For this last one, we've done three on top, three on the bottom. And now to actually finish this, we're gonna go ahead and tie this one time and we're gonna secure this down right in between this small little gap between our last two. We're gonna pull it one time, it's gonna snug down in there, and then we're gonna tie it one more time on top, which actually does a square knot on top. Then we're gonna go ahead and burn these two bits off, and as you can see, we have a perfectly tied knock point on the top. It's important that you let your flame go up instead of underneath. If it's here, you're gonna burn it. If your flame's up here, your flame always rises. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing here on the bottom. We don't wanna push it too hard against the knock because we don't wanna have pinch. So we're gonna leave just barely about a half mil to a one millimeter gap. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing here on the bottom of the knock. We're gonna do our over and under knots, three on the top, three on the bottom. Make 
Again, this is our last one, so we're going to go ahead and tighten this down right here. Secure it. And then, again, tie one more knot to make our square knot. One thing that you want to focus on is making sure that you don't have too much knock pinch. You want to have just a very small space here between your tied knock and the bottom of that knock so that as you come to full draw, it'll take up that space. But if it's too tight, then you're going to end up pinching your arrow too much and actually lifting it off the arrow rest. So this is perfect. Just a very, very small amount of space, about half of a millimeter. <laughs> All right, well, as you can see, we've got two tied knocks perfectly. So in our next segment, I'm gonna show you how to finish this up by tying on a proper D-loop. Knock and ready to rock.